If you don't really, really need the Wi-Fi, I probably would just try and enjoy your few days for me and because I need to be able to get onto my Instagram and stuff like that, um, I am going to probably do this small one, but just be really, really careful what you are using because it can very quickly get out of control. Okay, so once you've logged in, you will get this um, little thing that tells you how much of your package is remaining. And another really big thing to note, if you click up here, um, when you are done, don't forget to log out, otherwise it will keep using it. So just be careful in general, switch off your background app refresh in your main phone settings and always make sure you log out when you are done with each little like session that you're browsing. Right, so just to give you guys some indication, um, I have just gone onto my Instagram. I've got two Instagram profiles. I checked my DMs, refreshed it once or twice, looked at a couple of things, and that is how much I've got remaining. So this is what I'm talking about. It is expensive to use the Wi-Fi on board, but I just wanted to let you know kind of how it works and what you're looking at in terms of how much that actually gets you. So we're just taking a quick break. We're in the promenade lounge. Um, like I said earlier, the craft thing is going on. I think somebody's doing origami is what's going on down there. And I've just got myself a latte this is one that you have to pay for so if you want to get regular coffee you can get that upstairs um, on deck nine but I just thought I would sit here got a nice little view out to sea have a little break obviously I've just been on Instagram very briefly like I was saying when I was showing you how to use the Wi-Fi it's really expensive I literally was probably online for like 14 15 minutes something like that I literally just went on Instagram to post a couple of stories post a picture just really quickly check my DMs and all that sort of stuff and over half of the 20 was it 29 dollars whatever I paid was gone Ready. so it really is like pricey but like I said for most people I probably wouldn't bother it's only if you really for whatever reason need to check um, some emails or something then maybe it's worth it but um, otherwise it's probably just nice to enjoy your time and post everything when you get back but obviously for me because of what I do and everything I want to be able to post some pictures while I'm actually here but it's nice to sit here and have a little break take my mask off indoors because um, you can do that if you're sitting eating or drinking okay so I'm just gonna head into Rapunzel's royal table because I think the first photo op is going on at the minute so we'll go and see so I think it's between 12 30 and 3 look how beautiful this is this is actually where we're coming for dinner this evening look at the theming in here oh this is amazing I love this look at these lanterns okay this is amazing I am now very excited for dinner this evening got a bit lost there there are some arrows telling me which way to go that's why it's a good thing to look on the app because I would never have known this was going on otherwise Okay, that was really cute. It actually did take quite a long time because they really take a lot of pictures. When you're in Disney World and you have a photo pass, it's like really, really quick. And then they sort of move you on. But he was really taking a lot for everybody. So just bear in mind, it does take a little while in the line. But hopefully the pictures will be well worth it. But I'm very excited to come here for dinner later. This is probably the one I've been looking forward to the most. So we're going to head back down this way because I think there are some things that we haven't seen yet. Um, I think it's like a pub or a bar or something. So we'll see if we can go and find that. Okay, so this is after hours. Yep, so down here is Fathoms. That's actually where we went when we very first got here to get the app set up. And down at the end is Keys and the pub. And also I think there's another shop down there too. So down at the end here, I think this is Sea Treasures, I think it's called. So let's take a look in here. Um, this is where you go to buy princess dresses by the look of things. That's pretty much all they have in there, so I won't go in because there's already some people inside. And this is O'Girl's Pub, and I can see sports in there. And here is the exit to Fathom, so you get in the other side and this is where you come out. So just taking a bit of an outdoor break to get some air. And I spy, look who it is. Hello! Hey! <laughs> oh, look at your outfits! Thank you, Amazing. Too. <laughs> Thank you. And the ears as well. <laughs> Mine is a friend of ours. Oh my goodness. So I'm in Fathoms now and we're about to do the Disney right. theme park Hello. trivia. Oh, it's starting. Okay. Hello everyone. Hello. We're going to win. Hello. Hello. Welcome back to Fathoms or welcome Fathoms to the, for the first time. 
My name is Tarek, or you can call me Tarek, absolutely fine. Uh, I'm from Norwich, in East Anglia. <laughs> Seriously, were you here in my last one as well? Can't say, no, well that's two families in Norwich. That never ever happens. You are here for your theme park trivia. Later. Over at Disney's, uh, Disneyland Resort's Fantasyland, guests can ride upon the King Arthur Carousel which has been in the park from its opening in 1955. How many shimmering lights glow on this carousel? <laughs> Man, did you guys want an easy question? Oh my word. You ain't getting one, all right? So we got 16 out of 20. Yeah. But the winners got 18, we did not win. No. In, I'm, I'm here by the way with Emma oh. and Erin and Ethan and Stephen on the end there. We thought we were going to win. We did so well. It was hard though. We so well. and it, but we still did so well. We did. It was really hard though. Uh, it was like stuff that we're not going to know. Yeah, so 16 was pretty good. Have I thought. Ask everyone it was to pretty leave good. our venue momentarily once you're all ready and settled. Like, you can leave bye, bye. <laughs> so we, where are we? Signals at the bar. And me and Emma are having a cheeky little cocktail because, you know, obviously. Kids are doing origami. Yes, they're doing some origami. And you have, what's this? I don't know, every day they do a signature cocktail oh, so you just cheaper than the normal cocktail. Oh, so you just went signature. Went cheap, yeah, the cheap. Signature. I've gone for a Frosé, um, which I think had orange liqueur and um, something else in there. I don't know if it was Rosé, you know. Oh, I think it was something else. Anyway, so we're having this, just chilling. It is very nice up here. And this is the quiet pool, which is not quiet in any way. There are so many people up here, so, um, but it's fine. We've got a little couch. It's very, very nice. Okay, so I've just said goodbye to Emma after our cocktails and she's gone to play bingo. So I hope they did good. Um, I'm just gonna go grab something to eat because dinner isn't until later and I'm a little bit hungry because I've not eaten since my breakfast. I'm gonna grab a coffee. Just have a little wander around on deck nine where it's obviously out in the open because it's so beautiful at the moment. I'll show you when we get up there. So this is what I was talking about with how amazing it is up here when you're out on the deck, right at the top of the boat. Look at this. It is just absolutely beautiful. The weather is incredible. And I am loving this. When I think back to like the last 18 months and how depressing a lot of it has been and the thought of doing anything like this, not gonna happen. This is amazing. So I'm now just gonna go and grab something to eat. I'm not sure what yet, but we'll see when we get there. So I've got myself a little cheese pizza from, I think it's called Pinocchio's Pizzeria on deck nine. We are sat here by the window, just having a nice little view, a little relax. And then in a second, I think I'll get a coffee. So just living my best life. This is so nice and so relaxing and I can't believe this weather. This is so perfect. And I am also having some fries now because I'm still a little bit hungry. I don't know what's wrong with me today, but you know, we're on a cruise, you do a lot of eating. So I'm just gonna grab myself a coffee. This is the beverage station. So the cast members get your drinks for you. You can get like all kinds of cold drinks and they have the blueberry acai vitamin water, which Becky and I are obsessed with at Disney World. They actually have it, which is very exciting. And also you get coffee and tea and stuff here as well. So I popped back to the room to have my coffee and I thought this would be a good time to do a little tour of my stateroom because it's actually relatively tidy and the bed is made. So let me just show you around. It won't take long because obviously the rooms are a lot smaller than you would expect in a hotel or something. So let me just show you around. So this is the front door. Obviously we've just come in through there and the doors are magnetic. And when I go back out, I'll try and show you some people's doors because people have magnets and stuff on and they really decorate their doors, which is cool. So just here as you come in is the bathroom which is very compact <laughs> so you have a little mirror here a little shelf to put everything on and a small sink obviously the, the toilet and then around here is the shower and it is kind of like weird because it's a little almost like a little tub at the bottom but not really big enough that you would get in there I mean you could you could do I guess um, but anyway that is the shower and there are Disney toiletries in here, which is really, so you've got shower gel and shampoo and conditioner and stuff. And there is also body lotion and the soap as well here. So that's what's provided actually in the room. Then there is this, 
which is one of these mega mega vintage hair dryers i thought that this is the hair dryer so last night i sat there for ages using it only to realize that there is actually another hair dryer in the room which would have been a lot more effective um, and this one got so hot i felt like it was going to um do something bad so anyway um <laughs> there is a hair dryer which i'll show you where that is so as you come out of the bathroom there is a closet here and this is where your life jackets are so that is where you need to grab that from and then you head to your assembly point and there's some hanging space then the other side there is more hanging space and a safe and everything and just some space at the bottom to keep your stuff so there's plenty of room really to hang things especially if you're doing like a couple of nights or three nights and they do provide some glasses in the room please do excuse all of my random toiletries and stuff that are everywhere and this is like a little dressing table vanity type thing so there is a seat underneath so that's where you can sit to get ready in the morning there is a fridge in here then you have your tv and this little cupboard is just an empty cupboard then around here you have your bed and like i said the bed is super super comfortable one of the most comfortable beds i've slept in i have to say it was really really nice so i actually i'm quite excited to get back in there later and this bit is screened off with a curtain if you want to so that's quite nice if anyone was taking a nap or something and someone else can then sit out here because there is the couch which i think in some of the rooms, this is where someone else would sleep. I don't know if it pulls out or what, um, but obviously I'm here by myself, so maybe in other rooms it might be different, I don't know. And then there is just a little coffee table there as well. And they have this cute artwork on the wall. Then just around here is a full length mirror, which I really appreciate them having in the room. And back to the front door. So as you can see, it is very compact, but really, really nice actually. Um, the housekeeping or mousekeeping, I should say, are amazing, the people who look after your room. So yes, I am loving this. Okay, so I'm about ready to head out again. I've just had some of my coffee. Um, I don't wanna miss the Rapunzel musical. So I don't know if I'll watch the whole thing. It says it's an hour and 10 minutes, which I know is not like it's ages or anything, but shows are not totally my thing usually, but I do want to catch some of it, see what it's like, see what the theater's like and everything. Um, I don't know if I will be able to vlog it or not, I guess, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, so I'm gonna go and do that and then probably have a bit of a wonder. I would love to be able to go out on the deck at sunset I don't know what time that is today so I'll try and um, get some footage out there and some photos and stuff and then tonight I'm going for dinner at Rapunzel's Royal Table I think it's called is that what it's called um, and then obviously I'll come back to the room before then just to change my shoes put my slightly nicer evening shoes on and uh, yeah I'm just really excited I'm loving it so far absolutely loving it it's going really quick though um, I wish time would just slow down a little bit because today has just flown by but yeah let's go and see this show because I think I've got about 20 minutes before it starts so like i was saying earlier some people have things on their doors we've actually just passed a couple that were, oh here's one it's really decorated so i feel like my door is very boring now definitely next time i would bring some magnets for my door um, someone just let me know to follow the point of the star on the floor because that will take you forward to the front of the ship and the theatre is all the way down here, we passed it earlier, by the shops. Okay, so we are seated here, but I'm not allowed to film. I did check and they said no, so I will have to let you guys know what it's like afterwards. An hour later. Just got back to the room and look what we have today. A towel elephant. And he's got the chocolate. I love this. I'm just, I can't even cope. I love this. Disney cast members, you are the best. Okay, so I'm ready to head back out to go to dinner and I've still got the same play suit on, but I have put on some heels. Um, these were from, where were these from? Dorothy Perkins, I think. Um, I really like them, but I may live to regret this because I'm not very good in heels, but... I don't know they're not that bad because they've got like a thicker heel i don't know we'll see what happens hopefully i don't end up on the floor and just while we're here i wanted to mention about the tangle show it was so so good like really really amazing they were saying at the beginning i think it was only about 10 days ago that they started um doing that show because there was some 
they said it was something to do with some rules changed or something because they were only going to have one show which is tomorrow evening but they've been able to put on this second one but it was just so good like the singing the production everything just amazing quality the theatre was great um, so it was really really good and to be honest I had one of those kind of reality moments while I was watching it just thinking over the past 18 months like the idea of doing something like that sitting there in a theatre full of people you still had to wear your mask which was fine but just sitting there watching like a live theatre performance it just there were times when it felt like I know it sounds dramatic but things like that you couldn't imagine them happening again I know we all know that eventually it would but I just felt so grateful to be there experiencing that and just this whole thing I really think that going forward after everything that's happened with covid and everything it really really does make you appreciate things more i know it does for me i really never want to take anything like that for granted ever again you know travel shows all of the amazing things that you get to do it's incredible it's really just surreal to be here and i'm loving it so much um, it was great seeing Emma today and doing the Disney theme park trivia. Although I do feel like the questions were a bit random. Like some of them were stuff that nobody could possibly know. Like how many light bulbs are there on this attraction and stuff like that. Like it wasn't stuff. I was hoping it might be things that I might know from going to the theme park so much. But it was good fun. And uh, yeah, just an amazing day. But I'm so excited to go to Rapunzel's Royal Table for dinner. I keep calling it that, I think it's called that. And especially having just seen the show as well, I feel like that's perfect to go there for dinner this evening. So I'm gonna head out. I think I've got about 45 minutes. So I might go out onto the deck and see what the sun's doing, whether it's setting or whether I've totally missed it. And uh, yeah, obviously I will see you at dinner, if not before. So I think I mentioned earlier that there's a photo op going on or several photo ops. So I've just stopped to do that. And you can see Donald is up there. And I think Daisy is just up here, which is really cute. Okay, so we just had our little photo op in front of the statue there, which is cute. And now we're heading out onto the deck and actually it feels very windy. So I'm glad I'm wearing a play suit and not a skirt like the other day. So just so you guys know, if you want to buy one photo, so this is my photo from earlier on, it is 20.95, so it's kind of pricey. I'm just gonna see what the packages are like. Okay, I've logged out for now. I will reassess that later. It's very pricey, but there is one picture that they took at the Tangled um, photo shoot that was really nice. So I may spend the 20 bucks on that one. But um, for one picture, that is upsetting. But there you go, this is what it is. The packages were like 150, 200 bucks, so I don't need that because I won't make the most of it. So I am here in Rapunzel's Royal Table, and this is so beautiful. These lanterns look amazing. Now it's night time, and they've got all these switched on. Obviously, we were in here earlier, but this looks so, so pretty. And everything is just super cute. The water glasses are really nice. We've got some pretzel bread, which smells incredible and I think like a mustard dip and I've got my menu here. I am thinking probably the asparagus and broccoli soup sounds amazing and then probably the spinach zucchini eggplant and ricotta filled potato crepes that also sounds amazing. So I've just tried the pretzel bread I'm getting very very strong Le Cellier vibes from that. I only wish I had the cheese soup to dip it in but we can't have everything and um, the mustard dip was actually really really nice with it so that is perfect. So another thing I've noticed in here the tables are a lot further apart than they are in Animator's Palette. Yesterday Molly and Kirsty were sat next to me I think that's them in front of me I can only see them from the back um, but they're a lot further away today and um, also I think it was Stephanie and Vicky I'm so sorry if I've got that wrong um, are sat over there but you can see there's like a lot of space between the tables so you can't really converse with um, the other tables but I think over there it looks a little bit more packed in, so I don't know whether some of the tables are closer than others. And just like that, some soup has arrived, and I went for the broccoli and asparagus soup. So I'm very excited to try this. It smells really good. Moments later. Okay, that soup was absolutely delicious. It was so good. I actually liked it better than the one I had last night. I could actually eat that again. I'm not going to, obviously. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Hook Hand, and if you have trouble remembering that, I'm the guy with a hook for a hand. This is my co-work for the evening, Vladimir. Say hi. 
Okay, you probably can't hear me very well because there is a bit of a show going on. But this is the potato crepe, I think it was called, and it's got vegetables and ricotta cheese. It looks really good. But as I said, you probably can't hear me, so I'm going to eat this. So dessert is happening. I am so full, but I'm excited for this. I've got apple strudel, and I think this is pecan ice cream, and a good old cup of tea. And yes, I do have my tea that dark. I don't really put a lot of milk in, but really, really excited for this. Oh my gosh. So wow, that's so good. Okay, I'm just gonna see um, if any of my other photos have come up yet. Oh yes, there are a couple more. Oh, that's pretty cute. Yeah, they're quite nice actually. Do you quite like that one? But yeah, that's the one I really want. I'm gonna wait and see which other ones I have throughout the rest of the cruise and then decide whether to just get this one or get one of the packages. Love these guys. So I would love to stay up longer. I've just finished dinner, but I am so tired because I kept waking up so much last night. So I am going to go to bed. As I was saying, I am going to go to bed so that I can get up early-ish tomorrow. I don't want to have a super late morning or wake up late or anything. Oh, it smells really good down here. That's one thing I'll say about this ship. It smells good everywhere. So these are the two pins I ended up going for. I've got this one here, which is specific to the Disney Magic. It's got Mickey on there. And then I got this one, which you can't see very well in the light on this um, navy blue bit here. It does say Disney Cruise Line. So I liked both of those and got to get a pin, obviously, because I do collect them from every Disney trip that I do. Hello, and welcome to a very tired looking me um, in my PJs. I am so ready for bed. Um, I feel like kind of a lightweight. I really should have stayed up a bit longer probably and done a few more things. I was gonna go up to deck nine and 10 and have a little look around at night because I haven't done that yet, but I'm honestly so tired. So I figured it makes more sense to get some sleep or try and get some sleep so that I can get up early tomorrow rather than stay up late tonight because there's lots that I wanna do tomorrow. There's another show and there's some more photo opportunities and um, there's quiz to be done all kinds of different things and yeah I'm just excited for another day at sea tomorrow is the final day and then we obviously have Monday morning when we have the farewell breakfast at Lumiere's I think it is and then go home so I hope you guys enjoyed today I really really cannot stress enough how much I'm loving doing this cruise I really wasn't sure what to expect I've never done any cruise before and um, definitely not anything like this um, the UK staycation one where it's all at sea like you don't get off the boat and go anywhere and it's just going around the UK obviously it's a slightly strange concept and nothing that Disney have done before but it really is amazing the cast members I just I know I keep saying this they are absolutely amazing they really really are dedicated to making magic for everybody when we've all been away from disney for quite a while now and the service is just amazing the activities that they put on there are so many things the shows are fantastic especially the one that we saw today which was put together really last minute and was just honestly amazing quality i'm sorry i couldn't show you guys but we weren't allowed to film in there but it really really was excellent and yeah 
I just can't say enough good things. I've met so many of you guys as well. It was lovely to spend some time with Emma today. Love it. So happy and so grateful to be here and I can't wait for another day tomorrow. So I am going to head to bed I think. I'm just going to take this footage off onto the laptop. I always do that um, just to make sure I don't ever lose any footage because that would be a nightmare. But if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to make sure you're always notified when videos go up. And I just want to say a huge thank you as always for always being so supportive, watching my videos, liking, commenting, subscribing. You guys are all amazing. So I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in the next one. Yes, there are Dole Whips on board. It's got pineapple in the top. I am so excited, I can't even tell you.